Hey everyone, it's Claire and I'm coming at you live with a new video. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I know I've been doing on the vlogs, churning out the vlogs for you guys, but today I wanted to show you and do like a sit down video and show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing this summer. Cause I know you guys are all wondering. Anyway, we have a bunch of different shoes, accessories, dresses, uh, two piece sets and stuff like that. So we might as well just get into it. Um, before that though, make sure that you have liked and subscribed this video. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and let's get started. Okay, so starting out with Zara, I only have one piece from Zara. I've been ordering from them a few times, but a lot of it is like hit or miss, to be honest. Um, I know that they just had their sale, and I literally logged on at 8.01 and missed everything. Very annoying. I was annoyed, and it, I don't know. And I felt like I was just kind of wasting money. There were a few pieces that I was like, ooh, I could wear this, but... <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't want to go back into a Zara store and like return them if I didn't like them. But this piece is a winner. I've already shot in it, I'm obsessed. And it is this like one piece outfit thing and it's like a floral color. It's like a onesie, what would you, a unitard, a unitard. So this is like a unitard. It's my first ever unitard. Um, since I'm like really tall, I'm like 5'10", it's kind of hard for me to like wear these sort of pieces and not get a giant like camel toe or just look like a giraffe or something. They make me look really tall. Um, but this one is like kind of perfect. She like accentuates my curves. Um, the like biker short part of it is long enough to where I am not constantly having to pull it down all day. Um, it looks super cute with a bunch of different boots. I've been wearing it with boots a lot. Um, I love wearing like a cowboy boot with it, or I have these like black go-go boots from Pretty Little Thing that I love to wear too. Um, yeah, I'm about to post an Instagram photo styling this, so go check out my Instagram to see how I decided to style it because, gotta say, I styled it pretty well. So the next brand I'm going to be talking about is Mira Boutique. So I found them on Instagram and they actually sent me two different dresses that I've been wearing non-stop so far. So the first one is this dress which oh, it's just so perfect it's like short it could be off the shoulder or like on the shoulder however you want it it's like stretchy flowy super colorful so i feel like it's really easy to pair with different accessories to make your outfit stand out i like just shot in this yesterday and i paired it with like this light blue bag and light blue shoes and it just complemented the dress perfectly and i'm so excited to post that photo because it was really cute um, and then the second dress that they sent over, this one's so, do you guys not take your tags off of your clothes? Like, I've worn this and I still just, like, keep the tag on it. Like, I don't know why, but I'm just like, just in case, in case what? I don't, I don't know. I just like keeping the tags on things, even though it comes out to bite me sometimes when I'm shooting. You can see the tag, but whatever. But it kind of matches, matches my shirt. But it's this, like, long maxi dress and it has this like fun print on it they had a few different styles in this print on their website they also had like a halter shorter dress and then they also had this print in like an orange which i thought was also really pretty for summer but basically it's just like this long maxi dress and then it has it's like crisscross detailing on it it's a little bit like mock neck high neck vibes on it which i like the little slouchy feel and yeah i've been getting a lot of wear out of this so i'm excited to continue wearing it all throughout the summer all right moving on now to beginning boutique i don't know why i decided to do that but beginning boutique is just iconic so they deserved it but first things first i've been seeing dresses like this everywhere so they're like that knit material like millions of colors in it like short little dresses for summer and i've been obsessed i wanted to find one but i haven't loved any of the com the color combinations of any of them i don't know i was just thought i was like eh, whatever but this one beautiful i think like blue and orange are like perfect like colors of the summer colors to like pair together and i love how like the blue and the orange are like the colors that stand out on this the most even though literally like feel focused 
There's every color in the rainbow on here. So this dress is gonna match with everything. I also think this will be a really good transition piece. I know we don't wanna think about the fall yet. We don't wanna think about the fall yet. But into the fall, you could wear this with like some tights, like a turtleneck underneath. Like I'm excited to transition this into fall as well. Next piece from Beginning Boutique is I'm so excited to wear this. I haven't even like worn this out yet, but I think it's beautiful. This literally just came in the mail like two days ago. So granted, I have not had a chance to wear these. I might wear this today though, actually. It's this like gorgeous polka dot dress and it's like a maxi dress. I've been really into maxi dresses recently. I don't know why, but I just think they make you look a lot more put together than like a mini dress. I don't know, a mini dress is more for like clubbing, like going out, like hot summer day. This is like picnic, dinner, like going on a date, patio vibes, you know what I mean? So it's like this long, and it has like slits on both sides. Yeah, it has slits on both sides. So it kind of like cuts in half. And then it has like this tie in the back where you could do a beautiful bow. Oh, I just think this is so pretty. I'm like, I want to wear it and go on like a picnic on the beach and just vibe. Okay, the final piece of clothing from Beginning Boutique. That one was kind of good. Okay. Anyway, I'll stop annoying you. Um, so I actually wore this yesterday. So it's like inside out. I just dug it out of my hamper just for you guys. But this color is exquisite. This is like my like favorite color, I think. Other than pink. This is like my second favorite color. Like this like mauve like greenish blue you know but anyway it's another long midi dress because as you can tell i'll be wearing midi dresses a lot this summer so what i really like about this dress is that it has like its own spin on this like ruchy detailing which i think is so flattering on any single body type and it just makes you look so snatched and like ready for the summer um yeah and it has like this like collared neckline which i like like it's like this it's like a halter collared neckline it has the buttons all on it so you could like unbutton it make it super sexy um not all the way i would hope if you want to you do you though but like a few unbuttons on the top few unbuttons on the bottom put on a cute little sandal and you're ready to go cutie patootie all right so the final clothing brand that we have before we go on to all the accessories and shoes and stuff like that is pepper mayo we love Pepper Mayo. Pepper Mayo has slowly but surely become one of my favorite clothing brands on the planet. And not just because their styles are stellar, but because their pieces fit me so well. I don't know what they put in the fabric, but all their pieces literally fit me like a glove. They're always the right length. They're like the right feel. They make me feel confident. They make me feel sexy. I feel ready to go. If I was going on a first date, I would wear pepper mayo. But yeah. Anyway, so I did like a try and haul on this on my Instagram story. So if you're from my Instagram, just pretend like you haven't seen any of this before. So exciting. You, oh my god, I can't wait. Or if you just missed my Instagram story because the Instagram algorithm hates me. But anyway, moving on. Enough of my problems. So first things first. Wait, I don't know why I put all these on my lap. Hold on. Okay, so first things first is this cutie patootie little set. I just dropped the shorts. Oh, is this cute little set. So it's like the pink striped one that I've seen like everywhere on like TikTok, Pinterest, all that kind of stuff. And it's like a matching like dad shirt, like button up. And then these matching shorts, which I think are so cute. I'm so excited to style this for like a beach day, like a cover up. I think this would be a really good cover up. I've been on the hunt for more beach cover ups because somehow I forgot to bring mine when I moved to California. They're all in, in a box in Michigan, which I was really upset about because I've been like thrifting and collecting these really cute beach cover ups for a while, but now they're all gone. So we're starting from scratch, whatever. But I think this is a good addition to add. And if it gets windy on the beach, you have long sleeves. So I'm obsessed with this. I think it's like really good quality too. Not see-through. Like, you can't see me. But anyway, this next set, the print you've probably seen before. 
but it's this like vibrant floral print that gives me like the 70s energy I have never seen before. Um, I love this pattern. I've been like seeing it all over, but the pieces have never been in stock at the same time, like the top and the bottom. And I'm a type of person that needs a two-piece set. If a two-piece set is available, I can't just buy one of the pieces. I need the whole set. And then I'll wear it religiously for the rest of my life. Um, but yeah, I was able to find the matching skirt and the matching top on the website at the same time. And it was like, God's plan. God's plan for me. Because I'm so excited. And I'm telling you, this set fits me like a glove. I also shot in this yesterday. in the pics. The pics. The pics. They're like amazing. I actually love them. Um, and yeah, I love how there's so many colors and you can match it with anything. Oh, and I just, I mean, you can also mix and match. I, I just love wearing sets together. You look so put together. It's like you tried a little bit harder than if you were wearing a dress. And it just like looks like you really tried. Like it's hard to find sets when both pieces are in stock. Like, it's hard. It's either the top's in stock or the bottom's in stock. Or it's, like, flip-flop. It's never at the same time, but for Pepper Mayo right now, it probably still is, because I ordered this, like, a week or two ago. So it should still be in stock. So you, we can twin. It's the final piece of clothing from Pepper Mayo. I don't know why I just turned British. But anyway, the final piece of clothing I have from Pepper Mayo is... P.F. Freaking G. Um, it comes in a set. I have no clue where the top went. I swear I just had it, but it went MIA, but you'll see it in the try-on anyway. But I also have this set in green. I know it comes in, like, orange, too. I think there's an, might, maybe blue, but you need this, like, maxi skirt in your life. I'm not the biggest fan of maxi skirts. I know I said I love maxi dresses, but a maxi skirt, I feel like gets in the way sometimes if I'm trying to, like, run, like, she's a runner finish it for me but um whenever I'm trying to like do stuff in a maxi skirt I feel more con constricted than a maxi dress because I feel like they have always have like the slits they're flowy but this one I mean this one does have a slit but I just feel so sexy in it I don't care like I don't care it, it's so flattering on any body type I also should say the sizes but I don't even know the sizing I got in this, because I know Pepper, well, Pepper Mayo has, like, confusing sizing because it's Australian sizing. And I don't know what they, Australians, like, do, but, like, a size Australian 2 is, like, an extra, extra, extra small. And so I'm, like, an Australian, like, this right here is an Australian, and UK. I guess the UK is all cracked, too. So the AU UK, I'm a 10. But in the U.S., this is a 6. So, like, let me know what an AU UK 2 looks like. Like, this is already, like, pretty small. I don't know. Anyway, that's just my little rant. I never understand that. I'm like, I kind of want to just order one just to see how small it is. Like, is it going to be baby clothes? No offense to you. If you wear an... Or if you... Well, if you do wear an AU size 2, hit me up so I can, like... Just check you out. <laughs> I just want to know. But anyway, this set is super cute. I also have it in green. It's been posted. The green one's been posted a lot on my Instagram. If you want to check it out, I'll put a few photos here. I really like this skirt. It's like the cutest thing ever. And I wish, well, you've already saw the matching top, but it's cute as fuck. Transition time. Now we are on to accessories. It's bag time okay so i have a lot of good bags i'm a bagaholic if that's even a thing i have so many different bags but i selected a few of my current favorites that i feel like are very on trend this summer but also unique and not one that every single person has i'm guilty of having the bag that's like ruched you know and i'll insert photo i'm guilty but i want to try something else so my first bag I have in two colors actually because I think this is such a staple bag that I will have for the rest of my life. But the brand is Sin Bono. You wanna look at it? I'll have everything linked down below by the way. Like who do you think I was? Oh, I meant to put on press on nails before this and I forgot. 
I love these bags from Simbono because first of all, you can fit a frick ton in them. You can fit so much in them and they're really sturdy so they're not like flopping around. I like how you can prop them up on a shelf and they look really pretty. Um, you can put them over a chair and they stay. They're like a good weight. Um, and they're just like a shoulder bag. I'm really into shoulder bags. I don't like crossbodies that much. I like them for going out, but for styling purposes, I don't think that they're very stylish. But love this bag. Really cute. Um, yeah, and also the cream is like my OG. This one's a new one, so that's why I'm like showing her off because I love this green color. But I also am obsessed with this cream. Um, yeah, and I've had it for a while and there is like no like damage to it like it still looks brand new i've brought it out to a lot of different places um there's no wear on it that's what i meant to say but strap is like tangling but yeah this purse is super pretty as well i think it matches with everything and really helps out all your outfits all right this next purse is literally my baby it's this like small pink like alligator skin bag it's from this brand right here, if it wants to focus. On the brand Ruse on Instagram, I'll link it down below as well. It comes in a lot of different colors. I know there's like a blue color, a light blue, probably green, I think orange, but I got the hot pink and I'm obsessed with it. This is my first ever hot pink bag and I think it's perfect. You can hold like a good amount of stuff in it too, like phone, wallet, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it like fits on my shoulder perfectly, which I really like. There's not like, you know how sometimes shoulder bags, like it's like in your armpit and TMI, my pits sweat a lot. And so I don't want the sweat getting on my bag because that's gross and it damages the bag. So we like bags that give your pit some room. Finally, 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 we have shoes 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 oh my god shoes my camera just turned red i hope it don't die that was actually crazy seconds after i said that my camera it didn't die but it pooped out this first item you're gonna be like okay whatever like no shit claire we know it's in but cowboy boots i have been loving cowboy boots I was like really deep into the boot phase all of winter and like wearing boots and I, I just like them. I feel more comfortable in them. I feel like they really spice up any outfit. Um, I have a few pairs from Pretty Little Thing that I'm obsessed with. And then I saw the cowboy boots and I was like, dang, I need some of those. Um, and I really wanted to thrift a pair, but then all these pairs just started coming my way and I couldn't, I couldn't not accept them into my collection. So the first pair, these are like the first pair that I um, have ever owned, my cowboy boots. They're from Steve Madden. They're called like the West White Leather Boots. They literally vanished off the website once I ordered them. I swear to God, I am not like withholding this information. You know me. I give you guys all the tea. But these are like actually the most perfect boots ever. They might be back in stock, so check my description box and I'll link them. If not, I'll just put the name and you can just keep searching them until they show up because they were there like a few months ago. But yeah, I think these boots, boots are perfect. They're so comfortable, fit so well, and I think the white matches with everything ever. Then I decided I wanted to spice things up. So I got this pair of boots from Just Fab, and I got these for $10, by the way, because on Just Fab, your first pair is $10, and I've never ordered off Just Fab before. Um, so I got these for literally $10, which is such a steal, because I know those white ones are, like, really expensive. They're, like... Well, for me, I'm like a broke bitch, but those were like 300 ish dollars, like 200, 300. These were 10 and like equal quality. I think these are a little bit less qual nice, but it, I don't care. They're $10. Um, but I think these are so unique with like the two toned. Um, they fit really well. They have a zipper on them. Um, I've already styled these so many different ways. And I also have them in black. I felt like I didn't need to bring them out because you can just see them on my Instagram. But also got them in black because I love them so much. And I think they also come in brown. So if you're looking for a brown pair, I got you. Just bad, baby. 
All right, so my final pair of shoes and the final thing I think I'm gonna show in this haul, I didn't get to jewelry, but if you guys want a whole separate jewelry collection video, I can do that. I have a lot of gold chains. I haven't really gotten anything new recently for summer because I feel like once you invest in nice gold pieces, you don't need to be like rebuying them every single season. So the ones I've had, I've had for like years now. I didn't show bucket hats either, but I haven't gotten any new bucket hats recently either. I don't know. But anyway, my last pair of shoes are the freaking Pinterest viral shoes. They're from, I literally just looked up the Instagram, um, Pesh. I'll just put it right here. But yeah, these are from Shop Pesh. Um, the brand is like designed by Mary, Mary Ann. But when you look that up, you can't really find anything. But basically, I was wanting these shoes so bad last year when they first dropped, but they didn't. They only made them up into a US size 7, and I'm a US size 10. So this season, they were kind enough and blessed me with the ability to order these in my size. So I immediately ordered them. They're about like 120 bucks, so a little bit more pricey for a shoe, but they are very, very high quality. Um, they're not super heavy, which I really like. Usually platform sandals like these are really heavy, and they hurt like my feet to walk in. But I can walk miles in these shoes. As you can tell, I'm really into green right now. Um, the one thing I don't like is if you have dirty feet like me all the time, it will start to like make this like imprint on, not like imprint, but like a little bit of dirt. I'm not really sure how to clean that off. I have worn these a lot, so that's probably why. And if you don't have dirty feet, you won't have a problem, but I'm disgusting. So yeah, love these. These are definitely like the shoe of the summer. Um, I know also Adika has just came out with a pair that's low-key copying those, but don't say I didn't send you. They're like different, they're not suede, they're more like a leathery material, but same exact thing. I don't know if they're cheaper or not, I haven't looked at them, but I have seen them on Instagram. Just giving you guys a little feedback. But yeah, that's it for my first ever sit-down video on YouTube. I want to start doing these more often just like random haul styling videos because as you guys know I love clothes and I am constantly getting packages in the mail like every single day because I have a shopping problem um and I'm so excited to style all these pieces on my Instagram definitely make sure to check that out if you want also follow me on TikTok because I post three times a day about all my Instagram secrets of how to be an influencer styling videos um funny videos stuff like that so yeah, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day and love you.